viewers of Biotechnica, welcome to another video. So today in this video, I'll be talking about what are the top five biotech cities in the entire world. So if you're someone who is thinking like I want to go to a, the best cities where I can get a handsome of salary as a biotechnologist or jobs that are related to biotechnology, then I'll be talking in this video. This is Caroline Green from Biotechnica. So come along with me and let's discuss the complete topic in detail. So let's get started to the video. So first let's talk about what is going to be the biotech uh, growth that's going to happen in the entire world. Globally we're going to talk about and then we'll be talking about what are the cities in the entire world when we are talking. We're not talking about the country very specifically. The best cities that you can go for. So first let me take you to the global biotechnology market size. So you can see here by 2021, it is estimated at US dollars of 1023.92 billion, there was a market size growth. But it is expected by 2022 to 2030, you can find that the compound annual growth rate is going to increase to 13.9 percentage, which means biotechnology is really going to go in for a drastic change in the upcoming year. So I can uh, say that biotechnology is going to be a booming feed after this COVID-19 pandemic we have seen. So, of course, I'll be talking in this video about the biotech cities. Suppose if you guys know about biotech cities where you can uh, fetch handsome of salary as a biotechnologist, you can put it in the comment section. So, let's talk about what is the US biotech market and let's talk about which city is the best city for going as a biotechnologist. So, you can see here, uh, it starts with DNA sequencing, nanobiotechnology, tissue engineering, fermentation, cell-based assay, PCR, chromatography. So as a biotechnologist, if you want to fetch a job, I would suggest learning DNA sequencing. You can go for NGS, nanobiotechnology if you'd like to go in for. You can go for tissue engineering and regeneration, fermentation, or if you want to know about cell-based assay, you need to know that. PCR, RT-PCR techniques, of course, chromatography. And if you know all these things, definitely you can actually fetch a job in the entire world, I can say, not only in the US, but in the entire world, in India and everywhere. So you can see the market by 2022 to 2028, 39, 13.9 percentage growth is going to happen in biotech sector. So which is an amazing thing. Now let's talk about 2021 global biotechnology market complete overall, not only in the US, in the entire world. If you see maximum health biotechnology is gradually growing here. And then you can see the food and agricultural biotechnology. And then you can see natural resources and environment and industrial processing biotechnology. Of course, bioinformatics is also going over here, which means biotechnology in collaboration with most of the fields are going to be the near future, I can say. So suppose if you are thinking to start off any kind of biotechnology career in India or abroad, then you can start off because we have to wait until 2030 to see what is exactly going to happen. So you can see this is the biotechnology market report scope. So I'm going to take you to the growth rate as I already mentioned 13.9 percentage annual growth rate is going to take place and you can see India comes under this category also. So the country scope, what are the India that can, what are the countries that can be in the global scenario where the biotechnology growth is going to take place maximum. You can see US, Canada, Germany, UK, France, Italy, Spain, Japan, of course China and of course India. South Korea, Australia, Brazil. So India also comes under uh, biotechnology growth. So we contribute to the global market in case of biotechnology sector also. So you don't have to worry if you are in a biotechnology. It's just upskill yourself and definitely you can fetch a job anywhere. So I'm going to talk about in case of US. So as a normal biotechnology fresher average salary, how much you can get? You can see here 95,000 US dollars you can get in uh, US uh, approximately this is the value and of course you have bonus extra 
so this is all about the biotechnology market that is making a drastic changes in the entire world so this is all about the biotechnology so now we came to understand yes there is going to be a future in biotechnology in the upcoming days now let's talk about the cities so i'm going to take you entire globally what are the best cities that are gradually growing in biotechnology field first let's talk about the top first biotech city in the world so it's going to be boston so let's talk about boston so it's in the us so let's talk about why do you have to go in for boston and you can fetch a job in boston so there are almost 430 biotech companies which are literally making a global market. There is a gradual increase going on over there. And they are the leader among all the biotech companies or biotech sectors. If we have to talk about the entire world, Boston is a leader among all the biotech hubs. And you can find a lot of prestigious life science, biotechnology, universities, and a lot of scientists in Boston. So that's the main reason Boston is growing gradually in the biotechnology sectors. And according to MBC, there is a report that this is considered as the number one life science cluster. So you can find a lot of companies, pharma companies, biotech companies, life science companies, which is maximum in Boston. And that's why it's considered as the uh, largest hub or the leader of the entire biotech hub. And a lot of educational workforces in the US, very specifically in the Boston. And you can see if we have to talk about a biopharma or biotech uh, companies, out of top 20, 18 of them are present in the Boston, which means they are growing literally very fast. So this might be the reason which might has made us to think that Boston is a wonderful place for a biotechnologist. Then what are the companies that are present in Boston? There are many, but I'm going to list few of these things. So you can just see Ackley Interactive, Emulate, Bioformis, uh, Invicro, Pair Therapeutics and Ginkgo Bioworks, Juno Therapeutics, Wave Life Sciences. These are some of the companies that I'm telling, which is specifically in the Boston. There are different job profiles that are available according to the graduation. You can just look onto the websites also. And if I have to talk about how much does a biotechnologist earn in Boston? So you can see in Boston average, uh, there's an average salary also. I'll be showing you the average salary. When we compare with the average salary in the US, as I already shown over here, you can literally see the average salary is going to be 95,000 US dollars, as I mentioned. So if you're going to see in case of Boston, so it's $95,000 here, you're seeing almost $1,000,000, uh, almost $1,000,000 you're going to get, which is almost 12% maximum money than the normal salary that a US biotechnician usually gets. So Boston is a very good place if you wanted to start your career as a biotechnologist. Now let's go on to the number two biotech city in the entire world, San Francisco, of course, everybody knows about it, Bay Area. It's in California. And why do you have to think about the San Francisco? Why? So it's a home to the annual JP Morgan Healthcare Conferences. The biggest conference that's going to take place in the entire world is going to be JP Morgan Conference. So this conference specially takes place over there because there are a lot of biotech company. And it's going to be a home tech to the biotech pioneers. The best companies are going to be there like Genentech and many fresher uh, startup companies are there. And you can see Amgen is there, Merck is there, Gilead is there, AbbVie is there. So all topmost biotech companies are actually present in San Francisco. And that's why we call this as Biotech Bay. And you can see almost 27 percentage of all life science employment are actually seen in San Francisco. And you can see 1000 plus biotech companies are there. We are actually looking for biotech companies, but there are 1000 plus biotech companies along with the startup are also there. And when we have to talk about patentship, uh, San Francisco usually are the leaders in patentship. So which means this makes them a, a biotech bay in the entire world. What are the companies that are available here? So few of the companies that I've listed here from Benchling and Tempest Grail. And there are many, many companies you are literally seeing here. These are some of the companies that are very well known in San Francisco. Now, the most important question comes for us is how much is the average salary? So I'm going to compare a normal US average salary along with the San Francisco average salary. As I already mentioned, $95,000 a biotechnologist usually gets. But you can see it here. 51 percentage increase that they are going to get in San Francisco. If you're going to work in any part, apart from the best cities, the US, 
So San Francisco has 144,000 US dollars, which is literally 51 percentage hike in the uh, biotechnology salary. So if you're someone who are looking for a job in the best city, then definitely you can take up San Francisco even more than the normal US average salary itself. So this is all about the San Francisco Bay Area at California. Now let's move on to the third one. So it's Los Angeles or San Diego. So these are two important uh, places which are in California. So this is also going to make a greater thing in the entire world. You can see why do you have to go in for this? So it is considered as biotech beach. So two things are together. Los Angeles and San Diego are together. So we are calling it biotech beach. There are a lot of biotech companies and you can see best companies are also here. I'm going to see in there, uh, California. We have seen before also here also in California, Los Angeles. You're seeing Amgen, Eli Lilly, Acadia Pharmaceuticals, best companies are actually here. Almost 3000 life science companies are present in Los Angeles and life science industry grows by 20 percentage, which means uh, previous when we have to compare it before five years now we are seeing that 20 percentage life sign industry has grown very well in uh, los angeles and san diego in california now let's talk about what are the companies that you can go for these are some of the companies uh, there are many companies so i'm going to list out only few of the companies you're going to see here like acro grace and there are many companies everett and there are many companies so you can just look onto the website and you can check the next one how much is the average salary in Los Angeles and San Diego? So if I have to talk about San Diego, you're seeing uh, when we compare it with the US average salary, it's a bit less. You can see, as I told you, it's almost 95,000. But in this case, you can see 80,000 US dollars only, which means two percentage decrease from 82,000 US dollars. So a little bit less for a biotechnologist is seen in case of Los Angeles and San Diego, but that's going to be a good package only. We can say so this is all about los angeles and san diego in california now let's talk about the research triangle park rtp in north carolina so let's talk about why do you have to choose this one so there are 790 life science companies including biogen novartis fisher and there are many companies which are here so it's also going to be a greatest biotech hub and there are a lot of companies you can see starting from Assign Yours Health till Myo um, Meadow Mix. Uh, it is everything is present here. Galaxy Diagnostics. So these are some of the companies which I have listed here. But there are many, many companies which are actually present here. The next comes how much is the average salary. So I'm going to show you this one. So usually when, you, when we have to talk about uh, Research Triangle Park, which is RTP in, in North Carolina, you can literally see scientist positions are maximum in this place. So that's why you're, you're going to see a lot of scientist positions like BASF scientist, uh, Bayer scientist, Biogen scientist. So a lot of scientist positions are actually available in RTP, which is Research Triangle Park in North Carolina. OK, now let's move on to the uh, next important city. So this is going to be Chicago, Illinois. So it's a wonderful place. So let's talk about this one also in detail. So why do you have to go in for Chicago? So here you can see a lot of research institute and research laboratory along with a lot of scientists can be seen like University of Chicago is there and Northwestern University is there, uh, University of Illinois is there. So these are some of the reputed institutes which has collaborations with a lot of biotech companies and biopharma companies and the most important gene therapy company is there. That's why you will find a lot of people in Chicago does research on gene therapy so they have a lot of collaborations over there so suppose if you're someone who are looking for a gene therapy opportunity uh, northwestern university university of chicago university of illinois provide those things and you can go in collaboration to the uh, companies and you can actually work and chicago is considered as the highest in job so a lot of biotech job opportunities are maximum in chicago uh, so that's the main reason that chicago stands to be a wonderful biotech hub in the entire well, now, these are some of the companies you're seeing it here. So Abbott Laboratories, AbbVie, Amgen. Amgen is present in most of the places you are seeing it here. So these are some of the uh, companies that you can go in for. Now, next comes the average salary. So I'm going to show you here. So here, in case of US average salary, you're going to see 1 lakh uh, almost US dollars. Chicago has 11 percentage increase in the salary of a US average one. So 1 lakh 15,000. So it's very good enough if you're going to go in for uh, Chicago with a very good pay. So I've been talking about the top five biotech 
cities in the entire world which is going to be a, making a drastic changes and it's going to provide a lot of job opportunities starting from Boston, San Francisco Bay Area in California, Los Angeles and San Diego in California and Research Triangle Park in North Carolina and then next is Chicago. So these are some of the best cities, biotech cities that you can go and look for some opportunities. And you can also let me know like what do you think the best city uh, for a biotech uh, graduate to start their career. So put it in the comment section. Thank you all of you for joining.